What's up guys, Evil Deer here, and today I want to speak to you about something that's been peeing me off lately because I've seen it twice within the last week, just randomly speaking with people, and now I just had a pop-up just recently and an Esperanto conversation with someone else, and that is the idea of this English word called reverse racism. Now, for those of you who don't know what that is, because it is kind of a fudged up idea, it's... It basically means racism against a white person, okay? And they call it reverse racism. And the reason it pisses me off is because it implies that the word racism by itself is only something that white people can do to other people, okay? So having this word reverse racism just makes me think, well, hang on. Racism is something that anyone can do to anyone else. It's just one race against another. But suddenly, I've seen over time a lot of liberals and a lot of like my friends, because I have so many friends who are very left-leaning on my Facebook pages, um, and I've also got right-leaning friends. And me, I'm just sitting in the middle. I'm just chilling here, going, "Yeah, it's all cool. It's all good." But I've seen a lot of people recently, like they'll talk in discussions, and I'll even see it amongst white people, and they'll go, "That's reverse racism," and I'll be like, "No, no, no, no. That's just racism." It's not reverse, because racism isn't something inherently white, okay? And I figured instead of just randomly going on about this topic, because it does annoy me, I'll give you my experiences on this, because I have been the recipient of racism for a pretty good portion of my life. Now you're probably thinking, what you? You're white. How could you be racist? Now, I'm going to give you a story, okay? So. I grew up in a lot of little towns, and there was this one town, I won't mention the name because it's unfair on the town. Um, I went to this one town when I was a kid, and before this I'd never even heard of racism before. And we moved to this town, and it was actually an Aboriginal community, okay? And my dad moved in because he was being hired to do construction work, and pretty much the entire, Aborig the entire town was Aboriginal, okay? And obviously the Aboriginals in the past have copped a lot of lot of crap from white people, especially because, you know, the white people we came to Australia and we basically took over the entire continent and left them with nothing. But unfortunately, what's happened and what usually happens in an abusive relationship is that the abuser becomes the, the abuse becomes the abuser, okay? And that's what happened there in that town. I fully on copped it because I was the only white guy in the town that was at the time majority Aboriginal. There was probably other white people there. I just don't remember them, but that's probably because I copped so much bad stuff at that time. But anyway, I went to a school that was predominantly Aboriginal. Um, my teachers, though, they were um, part, they were part white, part Aboriginal. Not like mixed. What I mean is like some were white, some were Aboriginal, but pretty much the rest of the town was just Aboriginal. There's, I don't know if it's changed now, I don't know if the demographic has changed, but at the time that's what I remember. So I went to this town and I was there for about six months and during that time I was beaten up, I was thrown into rivers, I was almost pushed in front of cars. Like there was this one time where this kid down the road, um, an Aboriginal kid, called up the um, fire brigade and told them that my, my mum was burning to death in our backyard. And now for those of you who don't know, the fire brigade isn't actually in this town, it's so small. It's an hour's drive away. So suddenly the fire brigade comes racing from this other town an hour away with the police, with the ambulance in full on speed because they believe someone's dying in my house. And I'm out the front of my house playing and suddenly the fire brigade comes up this fireman jumps out and he's like, where's your mother? And I'm like, oh, I don't know, she's in the house. And he, he just goes straight in, like, you know, just smashes open the door, everything. They go in, they find my mum in the kitchen, she completely flips out. And then they tell her, like, obviously they're really angry because they've just used three resources, a fire truck, an ambulance, and a police um, car to come racing down to this little township. And they do like a, a backwards check on my phone, it wasn't done by me. And then they come out and they question me for ages to see, like, why would I make this phone call type of thing? And I'm like, I didn't make this type of phone call. I would never do this. And then later on, um, they actually found out that it was someone, one of my neighbors, who, or kids, who was an Aboriginal, who thought it would be fun to pick on the white guy by making this phone call. So yeah, I got beat up, I got everything. We had a brick come through our window at one stage, and it got to the point where my dad just had to quit the work and we just moved out of town after about six months. That's the shortest time period I spent in any town. And I lived about 20 towns when I was a kid till teenager. So I know what racism is, and when someone says to me, you don't know what racism is, you're a white guy, it really annoys the hell out of me, because I truly do know what it is, and I guess that's probably one of the reasons why I am an Esperantist now, because I know how hurtful it can be to people. Whenever I see it against other races, like against black people or against white people, it pisses the hell, it pisses me off so much. I feel like punching whoever it is, whoever's copying the racism, because it is 
causing the racism because it is the most ridiculous concept in the world. Why pick on someone because of their skin? Like, it's so stupid. But yeah, it pisses me off because I've copped it. I know what it feels like. And now that I've started to see people who've never experienced it make up this bullshit word called anti-racism, it's... It's stupid because it's fundamentally flawed. Let's just stick with what we know and it's racism, okay? And just cut it off wherever we see it. So yeah, that's basically it. And just so you know, it's not just Aboriginal people. It's the majority group in any country. If the majority is of one particular race, they generally pick on the minority, okay? So here, the white people, they generally pick on the Aboriginals. Unless you're in the Aboriginal full-on town and then you get picked on. But when I went to China with my missus, I'm white, she's yellow. Oh man. The Chinese guys, like some of them out there, they were so disgusting towards us because they actually even said to my missus, why are you with him? It's like a white guy stealing our, our girls, you know, it's so disgusting. But yeah, it's just this, ah, oh, it just pisses me off and I've seen it so much recently and I just wanted to rant and get that out there. Anyway, what are your thoughts on this? Is I, I'm not going to change my thoughts, okay, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Is it a stupid thing, this stupid word, anti-racism? I reckon we should, as soon as we see it, stamp it out anywhere we see it. I don't care who says it. But anyway, that's it. If you've liked this video, or you've disliked it, like it, share it around with your friends, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. And if you're not there, well, you've got no goddamn excuse now, have you? <laughs>